One morning I gave a speech for the IRS. Well, they get enough of our money. I wanted some of those. And I was all dressed up in my business suit and afterwards had an appointment downtown San Francisco with a gentleman who was considering hiring me to speak for his company. His secretary said, Miss Fripp, he, he's just called. He's going to be half hour late. Could I get you a cup of coffee? I said, thank you. I think I'd go to the store opposite, buy a pair of pantyhose. So I walked in the store and I was greeted by this dynamic, incredible, fun sales assistant. She said, good afternoon. Don't you look nice? How can I help you? I said, oh, I just need a pair of pantyhose. She said, I work in the shoe department. Come talk to me. I said, I'll be honest, I have so many shoes, a Melda marker stops by to admire them. <laughs> but I have 28 minutes, I'll come talk to you. So I wandered around, got a couple of ears of hose, went back in the shoe department, and she was so much fun. And you know yourself, when people are fun, when people are easy to do business with, sometimes you're willing to spend a little money you hadn't expected. I thought, well, perhaps I could do with a turquoise pair of shoes. So I'm looking down, admiring my new shoes. She said, you know, you really do look nice. What do you do? I told her, well, I travel worldwide talking about good and bad customer service. She said, I could tell the way you were dressed. You were somebody important. I thought, well, I got about 16 more minutes. Uh, maybe I should tell her how important. I said, next week I'm going to a convention of the National Speakers Association. They are going to make me their first female president. She said, for somebody that important, do I have a dress for you? Now I went in and killed 28 minutes and buy a pair of hose. I ended up with two pairs of hose, a pair of turquoise shoes, and an exorbitantly expensive beaded evening dress. Do you know, until I met that young woman, I had no idea I was important enough to deserve such an expensive dress. But that young woman realized what you know in the credit union movement, and that is that good customer service is exceptionally good for sales and relationships. Now let us look at what she did and how it works for us. She had what I call the schmooze factor. She was perfectly appropriate, but she was engaging, she was fun. She made an everyday interaction the highlight of the day. The schmooze factor. She also did not prejudge me by what I said. She looked at me and thought, she's got credit cards. <laughs> she also kept suggesting, which was her job, not in a pushy sales way. I didn't get the impression if I hadn't bought anything else, she would have been the slightest bit upset. But she kept suggesting. She gave me options. We always need to give our customers and members options of yeses. Now, look, I am a sales trainer. I knew what she was doing. And I loved every second of it. Because people like to be well and professionally dealt with. 